my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new here, hello, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I am here with a completely new and different unboxing video for you guys. This is literally the largest box that I have ever attempted to film unboxing here on my channel. Uh, so thank goodness for a wide angle camera lens. Uh, this is, yes, in fact, diamond painting related. And I debated for a while if I wanted this to have its own video dedicated to the unboxing, or if I wanted to combine this into what is easily the most asked question that I ever get on my channel on Instagram, anywhere, which is, what do you do with your completed diamond paintings? <laughs> so at this point, as, as of the time of this filming, um, I've completed 110 diamond painting kits, a lot of which are really rather large in size. And um, I don't hang diamond paintings in my home at all, and I don't give them away. So uh, I have been honestly looking for a while for a slightly better storage solution than what I have right now, which is just a loose, open artist portfolio, which totally works. I'll link to one in the comments. It's very, very budget friendly. But I thought, you know, it would be really nice to enjoy my completed paintings uh, a bit more often and a bit more easily. And with those large, open, loose artist portfolio bags, it's just really hard to get kits in and out of there. It's I'm not just gonna pull them out and go through all the hassle just to take a look at them. And so then commenced quite a bit of research, like a ton of research, a ton of digging. And I finally came across one of the largest portfolios that I've ever seen with plastic sleeves in it. This is from Baroque Portfolios. It is just available directly through the Baroque Portfolios website. They have a few different sizes. This is the largest size that they offer that is actually marketed towards uh, storing and displaying movie posters. But when I checked the dimensions and everything, I thought, okay, this could actually work for the majority of my diamond paintings. So that's what's in this giant box, which easily takes up most of my kitchen table. <laughs> and then here in this box over here is a set of refill pages that I also ordered at the time just to save on shipping and I knew that I'd probably want more. So I am very excited to get into this with you guys today. Um, this is something that I really saved up for and I am very, very much hoping that it is going to be what I'm hoping that it will be. <laughs> uh, so just so you know, this is going to be mostly a dedicated unboxing video as we're getting into this, which I'll go ahead and do as I talk to you a little bit. Um, this is going to be a little tricky. I have my heavy duty scissors and everything. Uh, but this is going to be a video just dedicated to the actual unboxing of this portfolio. I am planning to do another video in the very, very, very near future that is specifically about just how I store my completed diamond paintings, where I'll show you the, the, the various different storage solutions that I have, which will include this portfolio, but others as well. Um, and I wanna make sure I'm doing this the smart way. Here we go. That's, oop, yeah, just bump the camera while we're at it. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I'm gonna leave this all in too, just cause I feel like this is kind of one of the things that's gonna make it authentic. You can see, this is truly something tricky to work with, but I remain, oh, that's what we're gonna wanna do, okay. I remain optimistic that this is gonna serve the purpose I'm hoping that it will. All right, so I believe I will be able to open this up and hopefully slide out the portfolio. Goodness, okay. But yes, yeah, so stay tuned. Like I said, this is unboxing, specifically an unboxing. Okay, what's all this? Is this the plastic sheets? Yes, okay. And then hopefully the portfolio itself here. Uh, but yeah, that'll come soon. <laughs> the how I store my diamond paintings, because even though this is large, this is not going to store all of them. Uh, I have some that are still gonna be too big for it. We are getting here. Okay, so it's all bubble wrapped really nicely. Um, the size on this one, I'll pop it up on the screen because I'm blanking on it. I want to say 27 by 41 inches, which um, 
What is that in centimeters? You guys, I have it written down right over there. Let me go grab it, one sec. So it converts to around 68 and a half by 104 centimeters, I believe. If my conversion math was right. <laughs> uh, so it's gonna fit a lot of diamond paintings and that is a really, really nice material. Oh my gosh, that is really, really beautiful. Let's take a look. Appreciate how carefully it was bubble wrapped, of course. Wow, this is huge. I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to get some diamond paintings in here. Uh, so this is bigger than the biggest that I found on Amazon, which actually my friend Lindsay at Emeralds and Fairy Lights did a video, video on how she stores her completed diamond paintings that included an Atoya brand portfolio that was not quite as large as this one, but still very large. Um, but that was also one of the reasons I wanted to try this one out. So I was like, well, Lindsay covered the Atoya brand. And we had talked about it a lot because we collaborate in a ton of ways. So, um, and we're good friends. So I'll link to her video if you want to see some alternatives. And that was available on Amazon. Uh, this one's, like I said, just from the Baroque Portfolio website. On the side, it's got this nice handle for carrying. And I think this is if you want to do a shoulder strap. Make sure it's actually in frame there. Yeah, there's these D-rings here on either side that I think you put on a shoulder strap. And then there's this. And then where are the zippers? Let's see. And what's it? Oop, yep, just bump the camera again. <laughs> okay, so here are the zippers. Let's see if it came with any of the sleeves already in. I don't think it did. So as we flip it open, that's a nice, thick, sturdy page. This is huge. Oh my gosh. Okay. So it did come with this nice big like foam piece in the middle to help keep it, uh, keep its shape in transit and whatnot. This is incredible. This is so incredible. Um, we do have the shoulder strap. They did include it. It was just tucked in here in the sleeve. And then we've got these different rings here, which they do pop open. Like I'll have to open those up, I think, to slide the plastic sleeves in. And then there is this, if you wanted to tuck something in here, you could. And then on this side, which you can't totally see, um, there is a strap here that you could put things in as well. So this is enormous. This is huge. <laughs> um, it's just not all gonna fit in frame. It's just not. <laughs> it's literally taking up like my entire kitchen table. Let's take a look at these plastic sleeves though. All right, so they did package the plastic sleeves flat here, but it looks like they rolled them when I bought the refill pack that's in that smaller box. Just snip this open. I think I'll just slide them out. Ooh, those are nice and sturdy. From what I can feel, so they're all in this plastic wrap. Let's see, it's open on the one side. I'm not looking to break anything. Just a little bit of tape here. And then we have our whole set of sleeves. Which, are they clear all the way through? Or is there? There is. Okay, so that's actually really nice. I was wondering about this. Uh, so these sleeves, you guys, they actually have this black paper material tucked in here to kind of make a flat background. And I think that'll also help because then I'll be able to, I think it'll just help sort of make it more sturdy to have one diamond painting on each side of the page, which yes, I am going to go grab some diamond paintings and we're going to test out putting some in here in just a minute but let's see so we have three different sets of these to pop open and the ones at the top and I'm guessing I'm just gonna do a few at a time here I'll pop you into time-lapse mode so that I'm not <laughs> you're not having to watch me struggle here
Okay, so it was a little bit of a struggle, but we got there. <laughs> so uh, this portfolio, like when you buy the portfolio um, from Baroque Portfolios, it comes with 20. Ooh, let's not mess that up because I'm going to close these. Why didn't I do that first? Okay, so it comes with 20 of these pages and they are double sided. You could uh, sh put a diamond painting in on each side. So technically this would fit 40 diamond paintings if you did front and back on the sleeves. <laughs> and uh, they each have this paper on the inside and they are like archival quality. They're acid free, so they shouldn't affect like the quality of your paintings or anything like that. And um, it holds up to, it says it holds up to 27 by 41 inches in size. So I actually went and grabbed a few of my completed canvases in a few different sizes uh, to try out putting in here. So here's what I wanna try to do. I'm gonna try to flip this sideways. Ooh, this is heavy. This is heavy. Uh, to, to see what they say on the website, actually this is gonna be easier to get to if I do it this way. Okay, okay, change my mind, change my mind. <laughs> Uh, so according to the website, um, you can safely store up to 25 sleeves, like 25 of these plastic sleeves, if you're planning to transport it. Um, but if you're planning to store it flat, which is what I'm planning to do, it says it safely holds up to 50 sleeves. Again, it comes with 20, and then you can buy refills from the website in increments of 15, I believe. Also worth noting, they also have smaller size portfolios and sell smaller size refill pages. And this portfolio is compatible with the smaller sizes. So if I wanted to, I could get some of the smaller size refill pages and just put it, I don't know, like in the middle or the bottom or something like that, which I think is a really neat feature as well. So let's try sliding some diamond paintings in here. First, I want to actually show you a canvas that I thought was going to work just based on the size of the drill field, but I forgot to take something into account and I want to point it out to you guys. So I initially grabbed this adorable piece, which is Dragon Cliff from Diamond Art Club and Herb Leonard, uh, because I was like, okay, these, these sleeves hold up to a 27 by 41 inch, and this is 25.6 by 31.9 inches. Should be totally fine, right? Well, <laughs> that dimension is of the drill field. And on these canvases, we do have some extra on the sides and that extra on the sides, which is probably like an inch and a half on either end, makes it a bit too big to actually fit in this sleeve. I have to decide now, and I've been debating about this for a little bit, do I wanna trim those so that I can fit this in there? Or there's something about me that isn't sure if I wanna trim off the sides. So I just wanted to, to show this to you guys though, just in case you buy a portfolio based on the dimensions of the kits that you have completed. Um, unless you're planning to cut off all the edges and go right up to the drill field, know that you need to take the whole canvas size into account. For now, I'm not gonna try to cut off the edges on this one or fold it over. We're just gonna move it to the side and I will grab another canvas that I know will fit. <laughs> so obviously this one is quite a bit smaller than the size that we have to work with. Uh, so this is Hades and Persephone from DIY Moon Shop and the artist Margaret Morales. And it is 50 by 65 centimeters. So it's definitely going to fit in here. We're gonna have some space around the edges and that's really okay. Uh, so I'm just gonna see how this looks. I'm really excited about the prospect of having my diamond paintings in such a way that I'm gonna be able to enjoy them and flip through them. And again, as like a display display solution, maybe it would look nicer if I trimmed off the edges, but it just slides right into the sleeve there. Now I'm guessing that it's gonna slide around. <laughs> I could probably use something to try to keep it sort of centered in place, but that's gonna be something for future Katie to figure out. But it is in there and it looks really nice. Like that already just makes me so happy to see it. Sorry for the glare, you guys. We got that lighting right on the plastic, but you can see it in there. And so yeah, that just slid right in there. And by the way, when you're putting these sleeves in, um, I almost made the mistake, I got lucky actually, um, of 
having the openings all be at the same spot because these are closed in, these sleeves are closed in on three sides. You can only put them in from one direction, which is here at the top. So that was that one. I also wanted to show you something that I decided to try out. So let me flip this. <laughs> I actually grabbed, because I thought, I do have a lot of smaller kits in my stash. What would it be like if I tried to put more than one in here? Now, spoiler alert, I am planning to get a smaller portfolio for some of my smaller pieces, but, but I did want to show this to you just as an option that if you wanted to put more than one small piece in here, these sleeves are so big that you totally, totally could. Uh, this is Hipster Boston Terrier from Diamond Art Club and Marilyn Kazanov. And this was the piece that I actually worked on and featured in my diamond painting for beginners video, which if you happen to be coming across this video and you're like, what is diamond painting? What is this chick talking about? I will point you in the direction of that particular video. You know, it's actually, it's staying in place pretty well once I put it in there. And it still looks really shiny. This is making me so happy, you guys. <laughs> See, and there we go. We have two, two in one there. So let me kind of demo here. Let's see, flipping through the pages. Let's see how those rings hold up. All right, so we've got our big old binder here. As we turn the pages, yeah, okay, so that did shift when I turned to the page. But these are a nice thick quality. And it's not, it's not coming off the rings or anything like that. And then of course we could put in, yes. Oh, that, see that did slide. I wonder if I just did, like, I don't want to rip the paper on the back, like just a really thin layer, like maybe on the back of like, there's gotta be like some photo safe something. Um, I mean, you could just use like a glue dot, but I think that would rip the paper if you tried to remove it at some point. Say like painter's tape, but that might get bulky. I'll experiment with it a little bit because it'd be nice if it just like sat and stayed. <laughs> um, but yeah, the one thing I am definitely noticing though is that I think this is going to be very heavy. Diamond paintings weigh a lot once, you know, because the diamonds themselves weigh a lot, the canvases. Um, even though this says that you could store up to 50 of these pages in it, um, which would technically hold 100 diamond paintings if you use both sides, I'm kind of feeling like that would weigh a million pounds. So <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to experiment with it and I'll have more thoughts and info for you when I do my... Um, my dedicated video on how I store my completed diamond paintings because I, I do want to go through and get as many as will fit in here. I want to decide on if I'm going to go trim off the edges on some of these others. Um, but I am really stinking excited that I have this <laughs> uh, ready to go and to display my completed diamond paintings. Now, if I try to close this, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me see just how much it feels like it weighs just with the sleeves in it. Yeah, it's heavy, but the edges are really sturdy. That's one of the upsides to this over the loose artist portfolios without sleeves that I've been using, where it's just like an opening on the end and you open it and you slide all the stuff in, all the paintings in. Um, this is nice because this is very structured. Like it's really, really thick. I'm not sure what it's made of, but it's like heavy duty. And there's padding on this side. So I feel like my diamond paintings are gonna be really protected. And that this is gonna be a really beautiful way that I'm gonna get to flip through and actually enjoy my completed diamond paintings. Because right now I just don't do that with how I have them stored. They're either stored in, like I said, that large loose artist portfolio, which again is a very budget friendly option. Um, but I never pull them out to look at them unless I'm doing like my year in review videos. Uh, so this, I'm so excited to give a try. Um, let me show you really quick the refills that I bought. And I'm also gonna, let me talk to you about price because I have a feeling that's something that many of you are probably wondering about and I want to be up front with you. So first, <laughs> first, this was very much something that I saved up for because this is, this comes at a high price tag. Um, the portfolio itself was about $200 US dollars. Um, I don't remember if that included free shipping. Uh, and 
I will tell you, having done extensive, extensive research, that you just, if you're, there are so few options of a portfolio with plastic sleeves like this one at this size, this really large size option. There are very, very few options. Um, and like one of the only other ones I'm aware of is the one, the Atoya brand one that Lindsay showed, and even that was smaller than this, and was actually at a pretty similar price point. Uh, so it's a high price tag, um, but I think the quality is there. I'm really happy with what I'm seeing of the quality. And the set of refills, so this should be 15 refill sleeves. I believe this was about $50 US dollars. I'll also go and double check. I'll pop it up on the screen if I'm wrong there. Um, but they shipped this just rolled up. It's, it's in like three separate containers, maybe three sets of five. Let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, so three sets of five here. So I have 15 in total. And so that's going to bring my grand total in this portfolio up to 35 sleeves. And it says that if I'm not planning to transport it, that it will hold up to 50. So I thought I would start with this and see how the weight of it is, <laughs> like see how much it weighs, see how I like it. And then I can always go back and order another set of refills. Now I did notice, and I was just checking their website again, that for the large portfolios themselves, um, they do seem to do it as a pre-order. Uh, so for example, I put in a pre or I put in my order in September and it said I had a pre-order ship date of early October and it did, it shipped early October. Uh, the sleeves were in stock and those actually shipped right away. And when I checked just today, it said that these portfolios and this size were uh, for a pre-order for February. So just a few weeks away, a couple weeks away. Uh, so just to keep that in mind, <laughs> that's what you're looking at. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. Like I said, I just really was excited to um, get to unbox this and give it like its own dedicated video because for me this was something really epic and exciting that I was just I've been looking forward to forever. I cannot believe how long this has been sitting waiting for me to do a video. I was just being really indecisive about it but I'm so glad that it got its own dedicated unboxing and now I, and that now I finally 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 get to start moving my completed diamond paintings into here and how fun would it be to like do a flip through at some point like I think it would just be so much fun. So like I mentioned earlier in this video, I am planning to do a dedicated video on how I store my completed diamond paintings that is gonna include this portfolio, but also a couple of other smaller portfolio options, as well as I'm gonna show how I store my completed diamond paintings that are too big, even for this one, which I do have a few. <laughs> um, they're just like really, really long, like panel style or something like that. And I think I've come up with something that I think will still keep it organized. And while I can't necessarily flip through it as easily, hopefully it'll still be an organized system that's a little bit better than I have now, which is just having things rolled up and put back in the boxes they came in. So stay tuned. I hope you guys had fun with this really different kind of unboxing here on my channel. If you want to stay up to date with all things diamond painting here with me, I do lots of unboxings of diamond painting kits and accessories. I complete a lot of, of diamond paintings. As I mentioned earlier, I've completed well over a hundred at this point. So you get to see reviews of a huge variety of different diamond painting companies at a wide variety of price points and stuff like that. Uh, feel free to hit the subscribe button. That'll also help you not miss out when I do my my, my overview of how I store my completed diamond paintings video as well. So I'd love to have you here. There's also a bell down there. You can click to be notified when I share new videos and you guys leave a comment below. Is this something that you might try out for yourself? Um, do you have a storage system that you like for how you store your completed diamond paintings? If they're not something that you display in your home or give away as gifts, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments. All right, my friends, thank you so much for watching. I'll link to this portfolio and everything below so you can go and check it out for yourself. But I'm going to leave it at that. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.